Well, hello, my YouTube family. Um, it is 5.46. I am home. I told you I would do this again. It's not as nice as it was last, yesterday. Plus, I didn't wear my big boots, so it changes the looks of things. It's not as neat. Tomorrow, it'll be a different day. Maybe I'll do the bun behind my head again. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so... You know, while the hair is nicely relaxed and everything, I better switch it up while I can. Um, hot is, it's just, it's summer. The AC is on. My cat has become quite the spoiled cat. Because he knows, the second I turn this on, he's like right in here, right next to me. Yeah, I'll be coughing a little bit. You know, off and on, off and on. Um, he was waiting for me at the stairs. Like, the fan is on for him. But it really is nothing but hot air. Um, and, you know, just looking at me like, well, what the hell took you so long? You know when you can tell attitude in a cat. And then when he realized his mom is not having it, he gives me the big wide eyes like, I didn't mean it. Mm -hmm. Okay, people. All right. What would have been lips of the day? I actually decided to put some eyeshadow on today. I don't know if you can see that. But very lightly from my crimson. Because I miss putting on like a full face of makeup. You know what I mean? So... The only thing that seems to be showing are the eyes, so I might as well play play them up a bit. I know it took me long enough. Uh, the shade that I am wearing is this one, right where my finger's at. Right there. Nope. There. That sh sh shimmery one right there. But after all the sweat and everything, there's not much shimmer left, but there it is right there. It's a lot pinker. Than what you see. But it's from my Rimmel Crimson Edition palette. <coughs> okay. So before I start coughing up along, um, this would have been the lip of the day. L'Oreal Infallible Paints, number 324 in DIY Red. Do it yourself, Red. My nose is running, people. I'm a hot mess. Mind you, this all, this, it, I kid you not, this all starts like the coughing starts and the nose starts as soon as I get upstairs. I don't know why. I'm fine at work. I'm fine on the drive home, to, going to, going home. <coughs> as soon as I start. Up the stairs. Here, here comes the cough. Okay, here we go. There it is. L'Oreal Infallible Paints DIY Red. <laughs> hey. Yes. Yes, it is. Yesterday was red. Today's red. It should have been pink because I'm wearing pink. But does it really matter anymore? Does it? It's not like you're matching anything, Lizzie. And that's it. Doesn't really look any different than the one I wore yesterday. <clears throat> it's kind of an orangey red. At least that's what it shows here. I don't think it really is an orangey red. It's just a regular red red. It's supposed to be a, a, a... Oh, well, actually, when I look at it, it is sort of orangey red. So, yeah, that's true to form. Right there. DIY red. There you go. There it is. Okay. So, that's just that. Is that upon that? No big to do at work. 
but I, I, I do work with stupid people. <coughs> you know, you know when you have to just face facts that you work with ignorance. It's a sad state of affairs when you have to have to. Act, it, it just it's just right in your face. There's no you can't avoid it. It's just right there in your face. Two days in a row, two different people have come to fill out their W-4 forms for whatever reason, changing of a name or whatever. Have they never filled out a form ever in life? Have they never filled, like, you don't know how to fill out a form? It doesn't necessarily have to be a W-4 form, but every form shows you exactly what has to be filled out, your social security number, your name, your address, your phone number. How is it the simple things you don't know how to fill out. Uh, and again, oh wait, it started off with um, the other one that's working with Alpha. And she started to really start to lose her temper because this woman was infuriating. She really was. She was infuriating. <laughs> So after a while, she said, just fill out the form and I'll be back. She never came back. Then, of course, something on the form stumped the woman. And she said, could you get that girl that was helping me? She wasn't helping. She really, she started to help you and then she started to lose her temper. So I called her again and I said, the woman up front is asking for you. And she's like, no, no. Tell her I'm not there. Tell her I'm not here. And I just kept silent. Because if you think I'm going to say exactly what you're telling me to say, you got another thing coming, especially since the woman saw you. So when when the other one, I'm just going to call that the other one. When the other one realized I wasn't answering anything, I wasn't saying nothing. She said, oh, okay, Nancy. I went, mm-hmm. And then I hung up the phone. That is when Alpha came out. Because she must have told Alpha, look, I can't deal with that woman that's outside. Could you please? This is what this other one does. They use each other this way. It's a thing back there. It's the way Alpha works. I say nothing. So Alpha came out. And after a while, Alpha realized, oh, she really is. This, this woman is as frustrating as hell. But she turned into mother like she did yesterday and she started to speak to the woman like a child. And the woman's like, well, where do I? And she's like, well, where does it tell you? Where does it tell you to fill out your phone number? Where does it tell you to fill out your social security? Go ahead. You can find it. I'm looking at it right now. You can find it. You're smart. I was like, wow. Just belittling the woman. And the woman, the funny thing is these these people don't realize that they're being mocked and they, they're being belittled. They don't realize it. And she stayed with the woman until the woman filled out all four pages. It had to have taken at least 45 minutes to an hour. Have you never filled out a form ever? Or important forms like this you just leave to your man or somebody else to fill it out for you? Not realizing eventually you're going to have to fill out these forms yourself. That she was putting information in the wrong place. And Alpha was like, uh-uh, no, no, that's not where you put it. No, no, that big black bar in the middle of the, of the, of the page means you don't write below it. That's our department. You don't touch our department. I was like, wow. Anybody else with sense would have realized she is really talking down to you. And you don't realize this? Eventually, all was said and done, and the woman filled out everything that she had to fill out. 
come to find out she still got to come back another day because she forgot some stuff that she didn't know and then But yeah, the other one, she wouldn't have been able to last this whole, this whole time with that woman. That's and she knew it too. Cuz even I started to hear her losing her temper. Cuz everything is done in front of my desk because nobody is allowed to go back where you know, once upon a time, everybody would just go, just walk in the back, go to the HR department, go to the payroll. No, you can't do that anymore. Everything has to be done up front. So, the other one had to come out from the HR department, excuse me, to come and help this woman. And when she was getting so damn frustrated, she, she must have begged Alpha to to please take care of this woman because I can't do it anymore. These are the people I work with. Friday's payday people. That's what gets me through. Friday. Payday. G payment gotta be made. Con has gotta be paid. If I want this AC to keep working, it sure as hell better be. <clears throat> hey, look at him in all of his, his relaxation. He's peeling the paint off the door. I really don't care anymore. He's opening the door. He's playing. He's having fun. He's my baby. He can do whatever he wants. Okay, people. So that's really basically it in a nutshell. Um, you know, I'm trying to do the best I can with the makeup that I'm wearing. Oh, by the way, an order came that I placed. Uh, my father's birthday gift came, and his birthday is next month. So I really ordered it early because I didn't know how long it was going to take. It's here now, so it's, it's these bars of soap, kind of like Spanish-made soap, and apparently they are the world to him because he loves the way his skin feels afterwards. It's not as dry. So I bought a whole bunch of 12 pack. He's going to be so happy. Now as for what I ordered for myself. Okay. Ordered from uh, Romans. This is from Romans, right? I think it's Romans. Yeah, I think it's Romans. Pair of pants, but these pants come in a variety of colors and designs. I'm wearing a pair. Of, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm lying. I thought I was. I wore yesterday yesterday's pair of pants. Yesterday's pair of pants are the same material and same from the same you know from the same line with a different design. And these are this design. I absolutely love them. Back up. Look at the design. It's so cute. It is so cute. They're pants. They're, they're flares. You know, like Palazzo pants. Look at the look at the look at the stretch of the legs, honey. Look at the stretch of the legs. I love loose wearing pants. <coughs> Excuse me. The last size waist, cause um, your girl's big. Okay. But look at the design. I love them. I love them. Love it. They're so soft. Oh my god. The material is. Um. Oh, they didn't write it. Um. It's uh, like spandex polyester something I don't know but all I do know is I love them and those are yes those are pants that need to get well these need to get washed now too but these are the ones that I wore um yesterday I think I showed these to you already I showed these to you these are the ones I wore yesterday Somebody complimented me on these pants, and I forgot who it was. 
And now these are going to get washed and be worn sometime next week or two weeks from now or whenever. But I absolutely love them, people. It's the material. I absolutely adore. Oh, here we go. Polyester spandex. I was right. 95% polyester, 5% spandex. Here we go. Pants, people. Big pants for big women. Comfy is all hell. <coughs> mm, okay. So that is that, people. That really is it. That's it. That's all. This is lips of the, you know, 15 minutes. And showed you my pair of pants. Am I ordering one up there? No, I'm ordering a top. This Friday, if I have enough money to place an order, I'm ordering a top. So, oh, but I did want to tell you about this. Uh, no, I did not use my Charlotte Tilbury yet, by the way. Okay. I don't know. Did I tell you about this? This aqua glass coating cream. I think I did tell you about it. It's a great moisturizer, people. It really is great. Does it give me a, a, a glossy face? It'll give you a glossy face or a glass-like look, a glass-like finish if you put too much. I put just enough to moisturize my face. That's it, because it's really kind of thick. It's, it's a thick consistency. It's like, it's very, it's very gel-like. You can't see it. It's very gel-like. It's pink. But it's a thick kind of consistency. A thick kind of jelly consistency. So I mix this with this. Did I tell you about this? This was, I think I did tell you about this. This was the cheaper version of the Charlotte Tilbury. And then I bought the Charlotte Tilbury in it. So I mix these two together. <coughs> I get a, a satisfactory kind of glow. I do. I get a satisfactory kind of glow. This is, this is great because it mixes with, I think, whatever you want it to mix with. Well, this is my shade. It's, this one's dark. And I think it comes in light, fair, and dark. Three three shades. Thank goodness this one kind of pretty much suits me. Um, it's called Lumane Invisible Illumination Instant Glow Beauty Serum. And this is made somewhere Germany or something or Holland or something anyway instant glow beauty serum redefines face makeup well we've all heard that before as comfortable to wear as skincare and offering a perfected natural bare-faced finish and it goes on and on um you can mix it obviously it, it, it works exactly like the um, Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter. It's pretty much the exact same thing. But the flawless filter has a bit more sheen to it. It has a bit more highlighty sheen to it. Where this is more, it's more like a foundation, but not really. It's not as thick as a foundation. It's pretty liquidy. It's a squeeze tube, see? And then, you know, you squeeze out the amount that you want, which I love. It, it's a dropper. So you drop as many, you know, droplets as you, as you want. I think they say three or four. You should, well, it says shake well, dispense a few drops into palm of your hand, apply evenly all over, all over the face using gentle circular motions. <clears throat> now I'm beginning to think of the um, the DJ Khaled commercial, the Geico, Circular Motions. Another one. Another one. 
they don't give it anymore. They changed the Geico commercial to um, Adina Menzel. I mean, that one's good too. I don't know how I jumped from this subject to DJ Khaled, but the DJ Khaled the Geico commercial, I would watch it every single time it was on. If I was, if I was DVRing something, like I was watching something DVR and I wanted to fast forward the commercials, as soon as I saw that commercial, I would stop and watch it. Oh my God. DJ Khaled is hilarious. At least in this commercial, he made me stop. Because it's the look that he gives at the end. It is just, it just cracked me the hell up every single time. Okay, back to this. Back to this Lumane. It's a glass, it's a glass bottle. And um, it pretty much works exactly like the Charlotte Tilbury. So I mix these two together. And I really get a nice, do I get a glow? It's more of a dewy finish. It's a dewy base, really. It's a dewy base to my makeup because I do put powder on top, but I don't powder my whole face. I'm, I'm learning little tips and tricks to kind of keep a dewy finish to my face. I kind of just powder my nose the top of my forehead a little bit, where I sweat most, the top of my forehead, my nose, here, and around my chin area. So kind of, I just powder like down here, and I keep my cheek, my cheeks pretty much with this on, and I try to put a little highlight. I don't know if it shows while I have the mask. I try to put it high enough where the mask doesn't cover it, but I think the mask still covers it. <clears throat> Which is why I think I should just play up my eyes and be done with it. So I'm not doing any liner, really. I'm just kind of playing with my shadows for a bit. It all depends on how I feel, people. It really does. I'm just kind of trying to, you know, stretch out my makeup muscles. Because you kind of have to be creative when you have to wear a mask all day long. I don't wear false lashes. My lashes, I think, are long enough. And if I wear false lashes, they start to touch my the glasses. So I don't need I don't need all of that. I you know I do well with the mascaras that I have. So it is what it is. Maybe Ooh. one day I'll wear eyeshadow. The next day I'll wear a liner. The next day I'll wear eyeshadow. It all depends. I have to kind of play with the makeup that I have because this is the world that we live in right now. So, having fun with this, having fun with this, I'm still playing around with that, um, that elf, glow, milky mist, whatever. I still kind of, I kind of do this, and sometimes I'll do that, I'll spray that first, and then I'll put these two on top. <clears throat> I mean, you know, it, it sounds like, well, damn, Nancy, how glowy do you need to get? It really doesn't, it doesn't, get, it doesn't give you that sweaty look. Not that I'm really looking for a sweaty look, because the summer is giving me enough sweat as it is. Uh, thank you very much. I'm sweating right now. And I'm sitting right in front of the AC. I'm still sweating. But in the morning, you know, I don't need to kind of look like I'm sweating already. But my face looks super hydrated, like super hydrated. And it feels hydrated. It feels hydrated and it looks hydrated. So I like the look at the end, even though who's going to see it because I'm behind a mask all day. Mask. So, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm going to use this up, I know for sure. And I may change this up every now and then. I'll do, like today I did this. Maybe tomorrow I'll do the Charlotte Tilbury. I may get a different look. Who knows? And then the next day I'll do this. I'll play up every day or I'll use one a whole week. And then I'll use the other one a whole week. I'm, I'm just kind of experimenting, people. I'm just kind of having fun using up the new stuff. This is considered new to me and this is considered new to me. 
I still have a foundation that I have yet to wear. It is this one. And the reason why I bought this one, if you guys look up Geek Out of Water, that's what she's called, I love her. She does foundation um, reviews. She's got like a section called Foundation Fest. She does it on Fridays, I think. She gave this an A+. Because at the end, she gives whatever she's testing out a grade. Sometimes she'll give them a D. I have yet to see her give, her, give one an F. I haven't seen, I've seen her give a D, a D plus, A, A minus, B. She gave this an A plus. She couldn't find anything wrong with this. And I was like, hello, sold. So I found mine. I Because she's another one that I just watch whatever she, she, she uses. And I'm like, okay, I've got to, I've got to get that foundation in my shade because she likes it. And she has dry skin. I have dry skin. She, what I call, when I comment at the end, because she always answers my comments, I call her my sister from another mister, because her skin is like my skin, except hers is white and mine is black. It's basic, and she's a little younger than I am. I'm in my 50s, she's still in her 40s. But it really doesn't matter that much, because I can, I can relate to her skin issues and I have similar skin issues because my face is dry and her face is dry. So whatever foundation she's using, if she says, well, it kind of dries out my skin. And she goes really close into, you know, what it looks like on the skin, how it settles in, you know, in between the nose area. So if I'm like, okay, if, I, if I'm interested in a foundation and I have... I have yet to see anybody review it. I know most most likely she will have reviewed it or will be reviewing it soon. And, um, yeah. So, she gave this an A+. The next one, I think she gave an A2, which I've always had my eye on, and I have yet to buy it, all, all because of the price, really, is the MAC Face and Body. Everybody who reviews the, the MAC Face and Body Dewey, 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 Dewey. That is all they talk about. You know me. Glow and Dewey. Yes, please. I don't know why I haven't gotten it yet. Maybe because you haven't been wearing any foundation because we're in the dead of summer. This is brand spanking new. I have not opened it. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So why am I even thinking about getting another foundation? It's pretty much a tint. At this point, everybody says it's really not a foundation. It's like a skin tint. I still want it, though. Dewey, 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 Dewey. And she, Geek Out of Water, reviewed it like two, two or three weeks ago, as a matter of fact. Because I think she asked on her, ch on her channel, uh, there's like a couple of people who wanted me to review Mac face and body and I'm like yes please because I she says it's okay I'm getting it she said it's okay I'm eventually going to get it so in the meantime I deal I, I make up my own dewy dewy hydrating kind of a face the aqua glass coating cream which, if you look for a review on it on YouTube, you'll only get Japanese re uh, reviews. I'm just saying, people, it's a Japanese product. Okay. And this Lumane Invisible Beauty Serum, if you look for it on YouTube, you won't find that many reviews, but you'll find a few. So that's basically it in a nutshell, people. I think I have rambled on far enough. I've talked about pretty much everything. Um, my hair is a hot crooked mess. It's not as nice as it was yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, um, this would have been lips of the day. It's lips of the, you know, half an hour, whatever. And that's, that's it. That's all there is to it. Lips of the day. That's that with that upon that, I guess. Okay. So, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. 
let me know what you think. If any of you watch Geek Out of Water's channel, let me know what you think about her. I love her. I absolutely adore her. And, um, yeah, that's, that's just it with that. Okay? I love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Mwah! Bye now.